are these people? Uh, off of the grift. This is uh, this is the oil baron rescue plan. <laughs> Love it. Um, in uh, in spoken word format. It couldn't have been me, sir. I was front row in my AOC t-shirt, foie gras sucking on a press release, sir. My head down, fourth shot, good little sheep, sir. Sit down, sweetie. The adults are gonna speak first. They trust the science and they're terrified of research. Here to thank our healthcare heroes, they've been feeding to the burnout, feet first. Until suddenly they dip mid-shift, take a header off a bridge, such a shame. They were really such a sweet nurse. Now they'll never get the card and the cold slice of pizza meant to thank them for their teamwork. Now they'll never get the baggie full of checks mix, which would be the one reward they'd see for all the moms they had to intubate. And all the countless cries of grief since we've been haunted by the specter of the C-word. Now all the applause for our healthcare heroes rings a very hollow note because we played it out like Freebird. See, add those ones and zeros, and our fragile checks and balances are checks for all the wealthy who have such unholy talents that we think it's patriotic that we all got zero balances and re-elect Pelosi so she'll face our toughest challenges, which is analogous to water for a drowning man. Nancy disregards our impoverished with a spiteful and dismissive little waving of her withered hand, because half a million freezing on the streets is Biden's winter plan. And I bet you swore they told you you were voting for a different man. But really, all you wanted was a different man. And it didn't make a fucking difference if he finishes the previous inhabitants' agenda and starts auctioning protected land. You see, Biden's born to leap at any war a donor's check demands. And it turns out that you can't cure greed once it infects a man. Once they lose respect for human life and focus all their fucking efforts on the oil baron rescue plan. Honey, what are we to Hecuba or Hecuba to us that if she's starving, we should give a damn? Why should we be moved to tears if someone isn't eating? We won't even recognize that food is essential to our being. It's just us and motherfucking Israel who will not guarantee that food's a basic human right. Because starvation is our favorite tool of genocide disguised as sanctioned democratic healing. That's me in the corner, losing my religion, gouging out my eyes, and then dancing on the ceiling. And Jesus fucking Christ, what a feeling. And that's the oil bear and rescue plan. 